Okay, thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is David Baker, and I am the regional manager for implementation out of the Calgary office. And I have the pleasure of introducing Jenny Pfeiffer, who's going to be our first speaker. Um, and so she's going to be telling us about her experiences facilitating uh, geoscience information management, or GIM, assessments at a number of uh, Kinross sites around the world. So first, just a bit about uh, Jenny. Jenny's been working in uh, mining and exploration for the past 12 years, and most recently with Kinross for the past three years. Um, she works with the global operations uh, team and is involved in um, working to improve their geologic data management capability and processes. Before Kinross, she was working with, uh, with Barrick at their Hemlo mine, and that's actually where we first met Jen, uh, Jenny because she was heavily involved in the uh, gym suite implementation there. And prior to that, she's worked in a lot in uh, exploration uh, in, let me just get this straight, <laughs> in BC, the Yukon, Argentina, and Nicaragua. Um, and this is after completing her master's in economic geologist at UBC. So now I'd like to hand it over to Jenny for her presentation, Gym Assessment as a Tool to Drive Strategic Change. I work for Kinross Technical Services uh, based out of Toronto, a group of geologists, metallurgists, and engineers. And our role is to support the operations, provide expertise in our areas, and um, help with special projects. Um, a lot of our work is, is working directly with the sites. Although we're based out of Toronto, we, we all travel to all the different operations. One of the functions of our group is uh, looking at the resource and reserve audits. We go through all the different sites every, every few years uh, using third-party consultants uh, for this. So we, we usually tie these in if there's a significant change at the mine or, at, or the, in the reserve, or generally want to cover everyone every few years. We often tie this uh, when a new uh, NI43-101 technical report is, is issued. And as part of these uh, uh, audits, we go through, go through uh, the resource, uh, resource estimation methodology and also the reserve, looking at all the different parameters that are used and, uh, and the methodology. Included in this is how, how the data is analyzed, uh, sorry, collected, analyzed, QAQC protocols. Um, so all the, during the audits, data management and validation are looked at, but the question is in what, deta what detail? What we've found is uh, in the final audit report, the data management processes are often summarized in just a little paragraph. And so here's some examples uh, from uh, recent audit reports for, for from different, um, different companies and different sites. And you can see like the first one, uh, the, the DBA wasn't even available at the time, so they couldn't actually go through the, let's say here, validation, um, coding, backup procedures, but it's okay. Uh, everything's in place and uh, it's good enough for estimation. Second one, same kind of message. And generally, they always say the data uh, collection and validation is good enough to support re resource estimation. We wanted to dive a little deeper than this. Um, because especially because we do work with uh, all the mines so closely, we know sometimes there are issues or there is at least uh, room for improvement. So how did we end up with the gym assessments? A couple of years ago, we started uh, an internal uh, self-assessment process with each of the sites where um, we uh, break things down into a number of different uh, sections for all body knowledge. Uh, the first one being the, da the database itself and, um, and all the procedures that go along with that. So when we got the results back the first year, um, we had somewhat surprising results in some areas. For example, first site, no gym technologies in place. Everything was d being done in Excel, completely relying on individuals. No security, no backup because it's in Excel. Um, no, no validation. Second site, they did have a gym technology in place. Established workflows, everything's documented in proper procedures full backup um, routine, both on site and to the, the corporate server, um, and proper validation in place. When we got the results, um, site A rated themselves higher than site B. So 
uh, what we realized is, uh, I'm sorry, yes, yeah, so that was said, uh, four. Um, so what we realize is if people don't have the knowledge to know what they don't have in place, they're never going to be able to, <laughs> to accurately um, identify uh, opportunities. So we started looking for a way to, um, to look at the data management processes across our, um, across our mind sites, um, especially given that we use different systems. We use Acquire at some, we use Fusion at others, we use uh, 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 formerly GBiz, now GBanks, uh, other ones. So we wanted a way to be able to look at this um, objectively and look for uh, areas for improvement uh, or things that some sites were doing well that could be shared. And so the, the gym, assessment cost, gym assessment concept is to look at the, like the, the foundations that Acquire believes in, people, process, technology, and add in the gym organization as, as well. Like the output is a level of maturity based on uh, interviews with a number of different um, employees at the mines. And that ranges from ad hoc up to optimize as the maturity level goes up. So we started speaking to the guys at Acquire and um, came up with a, a, a plan, developed the project charter, which just outlined um, what we were trying to achieve uh, with the objective to understand the maturity of our gym capability across our organization, uh, and ultimately look to improving the efficiency of, of data entry procedures, looking at how QAQC is um, treated across the different sites, and ultimately reducing the cost and risk um, associated with managing our data assets. In the scope was uh, all the geoscientific processes and systems and near mine definition drilling and grade control. This was not intended to be a uh, actual audit of the data itself, it's more the pr procedures that go to gathering it. Uh, Acquire also won't, won't go to comment on the effectiveness of our QAQC or our compliancy with NI 403001 but using the results from this, we are able to make those judgments ourselves. So we picked the, the mines that we were going to do this at, uh, which is going to be our material sites, uh, Kupul and Voinoy in Russia, Paracatu in Brazil, and Tassiest uh, in Mauritania. Um, Paracatu and Tassiest are both open pit mines, and um, the Voinoy and Kupul are underground. So we set about visiting, um, first, to, uh, first to Russia, and then on to Tassiest and Paracatu, from uh, October last year until the last one was January this year. So during the process, uh, as I said, um, it's to look at gym organization, people, process, and technology. And the way that uh, Acquire did this is by uh, having a number of questions that they ask in each of these different areas. Uh, and they select interviewees from across the, the site. This is just a, a example, a typical org, org chart. What's great about this, this process is that they want to speak to people across all layers of the organization, from the tech services manager uh, down to technicians. And from that, they can really get a, a feel for what's re what, what is really going on. Um, they have questions broken down in, into each of those areas. Uh, and so for each of those different elements, they have uh, had questions to ask. Um, depending on people's roles and responsibilities and what they're doing. Obviously, they didn't ask absolutely everything to everybody, uh, but target it to the, the interviewee to really get a feel for, um, for all these different elements. Um, and during that, we had mixed, I guess, mixed responses. Uh, some people felt like they were being a, a bit interrogated uh, in the early days, uh, but then I think by the time we got to the, the last one, we had, the, had it really nailed down smooth. So the result is ultimately a maturity ranking uh, from ad hoc where nothing is formalized. Uh, everything's relying on individuals. Um, and yeah, and, and, and I guess in that, not even a really recognition of, of, of Jim um, down to optimize, which is absolutely everything's um, uh, formalized. Uh, uh, the it's, it's coming down across the organization, that's the same message, and uh, everybody's looking for the way to do things better. How the results were uh, presented back to us is, this is an, uh, an example. Um, each, each area that the questions were asked about uh, is broken down into uh, 
how, the, how mature that particular element is from low, medium, or high, and then put back with an ultimate rating. Um, so uh, and this is just the, the overview. And then breaking that down, there's a summary of findings and opportunities for each site. Um, for example, um, uh, under people, does not appear to be any ongoing specific employee measures in, pla in place. So they recognize, the, recognize an area we can improve and then give us a specific opportunity to drive, so to drive focused improvement in data quality. There should be some ongoing um, speci and specific gym-related metrics. So this was the high-level overview um, that's that gives us the key findings and opportunities. And then to back that up, there's a, a, a slide for, for each area that really lays out all the details. And this is the so this is the result of all the interviews, um, and this is the I guess the evidence to, <laughs> to support their findings. One of the things that we weren't expecting to get out of this, we did go in looking at it as a review of our data management processes that are sometimes skipped over in, in the audit process. But what we found is that we got way more than what we were expecting. We got a really, uh, in we got insight into how our actual geology departments are functioning across these mines. Because, uh, because it's speaking to everybody at all different levels, uh, it, it, um, we got, like, you know, I learned things about different sites and what different people are doing that, that I didn't know just by sitting in on the interviews. Um, we found that people really liked people really liked being asked to talk about their job like uh, a number of times um, uh, peop people thanked us for giving the opportunity to do that um, it brought everyone in and engaged them in the process uh, we were really lucky I think that uh, th uh, the way that it is set up people did feel like they could talk openly and honestly we and we got sometimes sometimes you know rawer feedback than we were expecting but um, it's all it's all honest. Um, and the other, the other aspect was uh, that just happened at the time when we went to Tassius was uh, just before uh, a lot of we had to reduce the number of expats. So uh, and, and increase uh, the increase in the number of jobs that are done by um, Mauritanians. So it was a really uh, well timed visit uh, with this with this kind of um, with this kind of interview and assessment. Um, because we were able to get the insight from both outgoing exp expats, incoming expats, and Mauritanians about how they thought that this transfer was going to um, uh, roll out, and and of course we had a lot of different uh, wider views uh, in that. So now we've uh, completed all the gym assessments at the various sites um, or the sites that we're going to do in this stage, um, and the next next up is. Uh, the corporate office here in Toronto. Uh, obviously, the, to do this, to do this process completely, we can't just look at the mine sites. We need to look at how the the corporate team in, in KTS and and other uh, other uh, other areas are, are communicating with the mines. Do, do we have a do we have a me consistent message that we're putting out, or is it varied? So uh, that will be happening this this month, um, and then after that. Uh, final reporting, um, presentation to the board, and then and then going through everything with sites and hopefully putting some of these um, opportunities in, into place. Into play. What we found uh, during this process is it's really highlighted Jim to uh, senior management and the board. Even the board have specifically requested an in-camera session with a choir at the end of this process. Um, so it's really it has brought about a better awareness um, of Jim within the company. It's giving KTS, my group, good feedback um, to see where what we should be focusing on, where we should be directing our efforts, and that will help um, set our strategy across the company. By doing this same process at different mines, um, with it using different technology, this has enables to to have them assessed all in the same way, and and then share successes that we're seeing at, at sites with each other. Um, and for example, this might be uh, included in a small internal conference we're doing next month where we'll have people coming from each of the mine sites um, to Toronto. And this is a this would be a great thing to, to show there, to share what, what we've learned. And then ultimately, what this is about is is making um, improvements at, at, different, at the different sites. So um, 
to so we'll be following up on it, all of the opportunities identified um, across the operations. So just want to say thank you to um, all the people that have been involved uh, from Acquire, Joe, Rich, Warren, and uh, Justin. And most most importantly, like I think when I counted them up, it's over 40 people that that we've talked to, or Joe specifically <laughs> has talked to, um, across the different sites, and uh, their involvement has obviously been been key to to making this happen. And so, yes, thank you. <laughs>